Hey Rockets and welcome to the 10th week of school. This reporter is currently sick with a sore throat so he'll allow the TTS to do the work for this episode. One event happening last week was the Honor Society's induction ceremony, which congratulated three rows of applicants on their successful applications to join the society. Here's some clips of that. Why did you apply for National Honor Society? Um, I just know that it's a really good organization and it helps you get um, more service hours, which I think is a great thing. And they also run um, the blood drive, which is also another great thing that they do. Um, I apply for National Honor Society because I think it's a great organization and it's um, really oriented on helping other people in service hours and I just love to give back to my community. I agree with what they said. <laughs> and uh, can you be more specific about what you're looking forward to as a member of the Honor Society? Um, I'm looking forward to participating in the blood drives that they hold specifically. Um, I donate blood as well, which is really exciting and I just love doing that. Yeah. I'm also looking forward to the blood drive. Um, I personally cannot donate blood, so uh, I would love to get involved some way other than that, so that's a great opportunity for me. Um, I'm scared of needles, but I'm excited for the other volunteer opportunities. So what were your thoughts on the ceremony? It was, it was really fun. I liked it. It was good. Uh, it was really great. Um, I think it was really well put together and the National Honor Society gave pretty good speeches. Uh, I thought it was really cool and I really enjoyed being a part of it. Last week, we also had the Conant Courtyard cleanup, which invited many volunteers to come and clean up the courtyard in Conant. It looked pretty nice when it was all done. And now, for this week's sports update. So in the entirety of the week, there were really only four events happening, the first being a boys' volleyball match on Tuesday. They lost 0-3, but still it was the furthest that the team has gotten in playoffs in 20 years. Next up, we have the cross-country teams, who went to the state championships on Saturday. Both boys and girls placed in the middle of the rankings, and here's a clip of that. Uh, so yesterday we ran the state cross-country meet. It was the hardest course I've ever run on. It's yeah. pretty hilly. It kind of sucks, but it's okay. It really sucks. Yeah, but how's the weather? We made it through. The weather was good. It was too hot. Well, yeah, it was a little hot, but... It was nice for the spectators, it was, I think, because it wasn't too yeah. cold. They didn't have it to... was nicer than last year. <laughs> Wait, I can't make it 0.5 in the middle. Um, our team was 11, I think. Yeah, yeah we yeah. got 11. You're 11. We did our best, though. So. Yeah. We lost it all out there. Yeah. Uh, they can talk about themselves. Yeah. They can make their own video. <laughs> <laughs> so a big thing that was on people's minds was the end of the football season following team's loss to their old rival Kimberly on Friday. It was the second round of playoffs and they lost by one single point. Here's some video of that. Alright, so what are your thoughts on this game? They're an incredible football team. I know we got two seed and three seed. They fought so hard the whole entire game. It was back and forth. They they fought incredibly hard, and they are a really talented football program. Um, but what do you? What are your thoughts on the end result? Obviously, we loved it. This is this is like a dream come true football game. Went until the very last play. Obviously, you love games like that. We're ecstatic right now. Uh, we really had them in the first three quarters, and we kind of. Kind of started slowing down at halftime, and uh, they beat us by one point with a two-point conversion because we got a flag. So, so what are what are your feelings uh, tonight? Uh, last game of last, uh, well, your last game as a senior. <laughs> Please excuse my phrase, uh, language, but it was one <laughs> fight. We we held Kimberly to uh, one point away from beating us, and we we put up a fight. It's it's sad to see this team go, but hey. He's got a couple good teams coming up. What do you think the team could work on for next time? I think um, figuring out like the coaching aspect on that defense because like I think that when they came down the field and Kimberly was driving, they really should have let them in the end zone so they'd have more time to go ahead and score. So I think it's really just figuring out the inner workings of uh, going down the field. This was a sad time for both athletes and spectators. But if you are in need of moral support, Max Prep's records indicate that the Rockets football just had the literal best season since this year's seniors were in diapers. I mean, come on. At least be thankful that we weren't around in 2008 or 2010 when the Rocket teams of those years didn't win a single game all season.
but on to a more positive note. The girls' swim team attended their conference match in Appleton North on Saturday, where they took second place overall. So what are your thoughts on this event as a whole? I thought we did really well. Um, we were, um, play the second, Nina B was placed in um, ninth and we made it up to eighth to get second in the meet, which was awesome. Uh, Nina A, we took first, which also helped us get second overall. And I think we did really good because it was at the end of the meet, so everyone was really tired, but we still pushed through and swam well. Do you want to talk specifically about your 400 uh, relay event? Um, we were all really tired, but I think we all pushed through really good, and I think it re went really good. Yeah, and we both podiumed, so that was awesome. We kind of, like, we've raced against these teams before, and some of them, like, sometimes we beat them, sometimes we don't, so we knew we just had to push through if we wanted to win today. Spirit was really high, and everyone did their best, and I think that was awesome. This leads to my next topic. There is one singular sporting event happening this week. That being the girls' swim sectionals happening here at Nina High School this Friday and Saturday alongside the Helping Hands Craft Fair. They're right next to each other which means you can support both girls and numerous local vendors coming in from all over the community and you can get your holiday shopping done early. See more info on that. So the craft fair will be, this will be our 14th year. It will be held on November 5th, Saturday, from uh, 9 to 3. And uh, all of the money that is raised from the vendor fees and the entrance fees, used book sale, and the raffle go directly to students that and families that find themselves in urgent financial need throughout the year at different situations. So um, last year we raised about 17000 So we're always trying to like at least hopefully get to that point or beat that point. And do you want to say something about what uh, viewers can expect at the uh, craft fair? We have everything. There's um, really anything. There's people do homemade soaps, candles, um, wood items, cutting boards, uh, paintings. Uh, anything that you can possibly think of is going to be there and probably more. Um, we have some great new vendors this year. We always try to bring some new people in. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. It's just a place to come, even if you're not into that kind of thing. Like, it's just really interesting to come and see how many people are actually there because we probably attract a little over 2,500 people from the community that come and do their Christmas shopping. And um, it's really just a place to see a bunch of people and see what people do as far as uh, this is part of their lifestyle and part of how they make money as either a side job or... Um, or just something fun that they do. And uh, how much is the admission? Uh, admission is $2. 10 and under are free. National Honor Society is hosting a blood drive today, which you probably heard about when the representatives came to your champion period last week to talk about it. Here's what you should know. Hi, I'm Brooke from the National Honor Society, and we are going to be hosting our first blood drive next no next week, Wednesday, on November 2nd. We highly encourage everyone to try and give blood. Um, you have to be 16 or older. If you're 16, you do need to have a permission form. We have those in the Armstrong office. Also, you do need to sign up for a slot. You can use the Sign Up Genius that's linked on Canvas in Rocket News. Um, every blood donation can save up to three lives, so please donate. This week's weather will have sun and surprisingly good temperatures for the beginning of November. It'll start dipping back into the cold and snow later this week. But for now make sure to get outside and enjoy the warm weather. That's all for this week, rockets be amazing.